You couldn't pay me enough money to drink this. <gasps> oh! No! <laughs> Marcella and welcome back to my channel make my day today's national holiday is clean out your refrigerator day this holiday is exactly what it sounds like and unfortunately some of you have probably never cleaned out your refrigerators but that's okay because today's the day to do it everything in your refrigerator was once fresh healthy food ready for you to eat but unfortunately over the course of weeks Sometimes months and yes, even years, things get pushed to the back of the refrigerator and slowly transform into something that is impossible to identify. What appears to be a dead alien. Trust me, I would know. My rule of thumb is when in doubt, throw it out. I'm not even gonna lie. Today's video might be a little graphic because I don't know what in the world could be hiding in that refrigerator. So half those things are probably moldy. They have a family, grandparents, great grandparents. They've turned a year old. I should probably <coughs> sing happy birthday to them. So we're gonna go check it out today and we're gonna get down to the nitty-gritty and we are gonna clean this thing out so without further ado let's get this party started oh my gosh so this is actually kind of gnarly there's so much stuff in here like honestly I don't even have a baby and there's breast milk here this looks like something that I would have thrown up and saved in a container honestly this kind of looks like baby snails this milk definitely isn't expired yet because I've been drinking that and if it is probably gonna get some kind of poisoning I definitely eat like a rabbit there's a bunch of spinach and all things green but this place is pretty nasty I'm not gonna lie I don't even eat ketchup so I don't know why that's here Parmesan cheese. I'm sure that's uh, expired. I've got plastic bags. Some of them are empty. I don't even know what they are. Oh my goodness. This is cottage cheese on the ground. I don't eat cottage cheese. This is a bowl of oatmeal that I didn't finish from yesterday and I'm probably not going to eat for another six months. And this tin can is in case of a zombie apocalypse. I'll have pasta rice from 2008 to eat. So does clean your refrigerator day also count your freezer? Because let's just check what's going on in here. It is a mess. I've never seen a refrigerator so packed. Like I said, I don't have a baby, so I don't know what these teething toys are doing here. Guys, this is incredible. I'm sorry, are these frozen acorns? Like what's going on in here? This place is wild and this is probably gonna take me like six hours to clean, so I'll keep you up to date. So the only apron I could find was a traditional one of my mother's because she's not from this country and uh, apparently they wear this kind of stuff in Ecuador. Pause the video now if you want a recipe of authentic Ecuadorian food. So I don't know why I put an apron on like I'm about to cook because I'm definitely not. But here we go, let's do it. pile of trash. <laughs> Does your refrigerator look like this? Nasty onion peels, stains, plants are starting to grow, clean me is written, pink things smeared all over the place. If this looks familiar, I think it's time to clean. There comes a time in your life when while cleaning your refrigerator, you reflect on all of your past choices. Why did I eat that pizza? Why do I consume cottage cheese? What is the purpose of milk besides explosive diarrhea? Wait, what? I always thought I was a clean person until now. For not cleaning out my refrigerator in the past six months, I think it's looking pretty good. Oh my God. The fact that I eat the food that comes out of here is disgusting. A tip for cleaning your refrigerator? Just don't. Just leave it. Toss it out, buy a new refrigerator. You know what's even better? Surprising somebody by cleaning the refrigerator without being asked. Yes, kids, I'm talking to you. Husbands, you know what's a good way to surprise your wife? 
by cleaning the refrigerator. If you haven't prayed lately, now would be the perfect time, seeing as you're on your knees for about 30 minutes scraping this refrigerator clean. Well guys, I finally did it. After about six months, my refrigerator is clean. The only thing that was salvageable was this gallon of milk. No, I'm just playing. This barbecue sauce was good too. I know cleaning out your refrigerator isn't a glamorous chore at all, but there's a holiday for Pete's sake. Do it today. If I can do it, you can do it. Also, Casey Masterpiece barbecue sauce, the bomb. That is all I have for you guys today, and yes, I'm still wearing these gloves. I can literally feel an infection already growing on my fingers. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment below what's the nastiest thing you've ever found in your refrigerator. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye!